What is up everybody? How's everybody doing? It's been a while since I've recorded a video. I do apologize for that, but I have been quite um, busy with work and um, <clears throat> my new assignment, that type of stuff. Um, I, I am working five eights, which really sucks, but um, I'm also picking up more hours, so it's it's turned into instead of five eights, I work like ooh, excuse me, five twelves, I think. So yeah, needless to say, been a busy bee, and yeah. So anyway, I am currently working this week, um, and I guess the weather is not supposed to be the greatest. So, I got a hotel room up in Gunnison because I've been just driving back and forth um, from uh, my place in Montrose to Gunnison. Um, and the state of Colorado is currently working on uh, US 50, which if you take US 50, typically it only takes about an hour to get to Gunnison, which is not too bad. Um, but since they're working on it, they have the road closed uh, sometimes during the day. And that hour turns into two and a half hours because you have to drive around. <coughs> Woo! Excuse me. Um, yeah, you have to drive around. You have to drive through a town called Delta, go up through two other small towns called Hotchkiss and Crawford. And it's it's a pain in the rear, needless to say. So I don't want to drive this week, so I just got myself a really nice hotel up here in Gunnison. I'm gonna stay here through the weekend, work, um, and I'm gonna do some fishing too because I have not been fishing in a while. So anyway, update you guys on what I'm doing more or less like I was saying I'm at my new assignment um, doing some stuff as far as that goes uh, I've been working a lot and getting ready for the winter we drove up here me and my grandfather Larry we drove up here I want to say it's been about a month now um, and got some beautiful fall colors so I'm gonna insert those clips here you guys think pretty awesome I mean it was amazing so beautiful um, and that's the drive that I do when I drive to Gunnison that is my drive I get to see that all the time well not now because all the leaves have fallen off but well most all of them but anyway it's absolutely beautiful so anyway we are headed up here we just drove through Crawford it's a very small town there's no stoplights um, just made it past there and we're gonna go through the Black Canyon the north rim of the Black Canyon and hope the weather is not too nasty because it's it's pretty grim right now um, it's not that bad really I mean the roads are wet that's pretty much it but yeah I can't breathe up here at altitude I swear I, I, I got I got it really easy living in Idaho for the summer because it was like 2,500 feet in Idaho and in Gunnison we're at 8,000 feet I think it is so yeah I, 
got it really easy. Now I'm paying for it. And I'm already out of shape as it is. As you guys know, I tell you guys all the time how out of shape I am. <sighs> so, anyway, we're going to keep go moving along down the road and get to the river. One's a company, two's a crowd, three's a party coming, move around, click. first brush when the school is out, when the booze is up, when the sun is down, click. enjoy the ride, that's what pillows in the Chevy. I apologize, it is quite windy again. Anyway, so we're gonna try to fish this bit of the river. And let's hope we catch something today. If I don't catch anything here within an hour, hour and a half, I'm gonna drive down a little ways and fish that spot. So, let's go. All right, so we got the first cast, I'm using a pink strike indicator to gay today. Um, I might need to add a little weight to my line. But we shall see. Um, I'm not really going very far out right yet. Um, there we go. That's a good cast. We're gonna get ourselves one today. I just feel it, you guys. I know it. We're gonna get ourselves one. Right out a little bit. There we go. All right. Yes, sir. I told you we were getting, it feels like a little guy. Let's get this line reeled in. Yeah, little guy. All right. But well, we got something, you guys. All right. <laughs> yep. Nice little, looks like a brown trout. Or is it a rainbow? I haven't caught a rainbow in a while. Get that uh, brown trout. Nice little guy. Get the hook off. There he is, everybody. Oh, well, there he was. <laughs> All right, first fish. Whoo! So the whole time I was sitting there talking to you guys. Let me see this is a little bit better sound wise the whole time i was talking to you guys um you were over there in the water <laughs> fell off my my pack here so yeah um <laughs> anyway i want to put some gloves on clean off my flies and then we'll get back at it Head down to Never Sink because I've wanted to fish there for a while and just haven't had the opportunity. So, do this last cast right here and we're gonna make our way down there. All right, everybody. So, we caught one fish, a little guy. Maybe not that, he was bigger than that, but he's a little guy. Um, just packed up my rod 
Um, and we're gonna head to Never Sink, which is like five minutes down the road. So let's go. Just waiting for Never Sink. Um, <clears throat> park the car. Got the rod out. I think when I get down there, I might switch up my flies a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. This is like there's some other people here. So, um, I've never been here before. I've always drove past it and I wanted to see what it's all about. So, yeah, we're about to find out. This looks like a nice little area. I said I might need to um, change flies and might actually just take off the weight. But yeah, that's where I'm at right now. It's not very deep. So, yeah, I might just take off the weight and see how that goes. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Switching over to the GoPro. So I've officially, let me bring the camera down a little bit. There we go. I've officially decided to call it a day. Um, I'm tired. <clears throat> I don't know why, because really, I mean, I haven't really done that much today. I've just, I did some laundry this morning, cleaned up some of my room um, at my house and stuff like that. So, um, and then I drove up here and been fishing the whole stinking time. So, again, I don't know why I'm tired, but I am. Uh, been a good day, however. I've enjoyed it. I'm currently just kind of putting up my flies. Oh, yes. You guys got to see this once I get this fly in here. Looks off if I don't. But took the time the other night to organize my fly box. One of them at least. Look how pretty that is. Look at it. Oh my goodness. I got my, my bead heads up top. My merger patterns. It's kind of hard to see with the, the camera. It's not focusing. I got my little purple uh, merger. I think those are mergers. Ours too. Something like that. I don't know. And I got my shrimp up there. Some salmon flies. So pretty looking. Look at that. Break, finish breaking everything down and head to the hotel. So I will check in with you guys uh, when I get to the hotel. Um, we'll see how nice it is. Like I said, I went a little cheap this time. <laughs> so I, I really have no idea what I'm getting. But it looked nice when I drove by it a couple times. So we'll see. So stay tuned. All right, everybody, so made it to the hotel. Um, not really impressed, just saying. Um, it's older, it's clean. I'm fine with clean, obviously. Anyway, I'm gonna nuke up my torta. Ready for it? Oh, yes. Oh yes. Yeah, I'm gonna nuke up the torta. So, thank you guys for watching another video. Um, it's nice to record again. It's been a while, like I said, so. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we'll see what the day brings tomorrow. If I end up going fishing, I'll obviously record some more. Um, and we'll go from there. So, again, thank you guys for watching. This has been Traveling with a Nurse, and I'm out. Peace.